so we'll talk about children you know understanding children okay. i think see the modernity the most misunderstood are children and of course learning education the process of learning you know these these are the two things that has been most misun- misunderstood and uh, and so in order to understand children uh the only possibility is that we become children you know the, the, uh, because uh, and what we are actually doing all through is to convert them completely into our ways of thinking and being this is a whole process that is happening so uh, as i was telling that this is a mind constructed world and children belong to the body constructed world meaning, meaning they belong to the experience they belong to senses they belong to a different realm altogether whereas we the so called educated belong to a different realm altogether we belong to the realm of words text concepts so this is what is actually the problem of generation gap as we keep talking about you know um and uh, and i think the possibility of understanding children and the cognitive process is by first of all by by realizing that they, that 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 our processes has some problem because then only they we will start inquiry itself we will begin to see children only if we start from the position that we do not know what to do with children quite often we think that we know i mean we believe the way we function is that we know everything and this is how children need to be brought up this is what they will eat this is how uh, you know what how much they will eat all that we know when they will sleep all that is decided by the adult and completely programmed and uh, conditioned in a certain manner now this doesn't allow us to even understand what a child is all about you know i you know very very typical misunderstanding today the designers the architects the parents everybody today hold on children is that children like bright colors it's it's a very commonly held opinion now and it's only a 10 15 year old opinion you know and you find that every house today every room of the children today is completely bright painted with all kinds of things and all kinds of silly things i would say you know and then the bed sheet is bright the bed sheet bright everything is bright for them the food is bright their uh, what you call the dress is bright i think this overdose of brightness probably could be the reason why they are so angry you know and if you actually look around in nature the proportion of brightness is hardly 1% it's all you know neutral actually i would say a neutral color within which there is a very very minute uh, you know uh, Uh, you know dots of uh, brightness and i think this is this is the nature's design is what that is the blueprint for our our sensibility also how can that be different you know and for a child how can that be so different from ours so this is basically from an assumption that the the adult has taken and it is so spread over now almost everybody thinks that this is what it is you know now uh, so but then how do you observe the child if you create everything so bright what is where, where do you even observe the whether the child like bright or not and this is a case with everything else you know whether it is about food whether it is about their sleep their their behavior what they want to do all that is decided by the adult so i would say that unless we create a situation of freedom that so that the child can move freely and respond to nature f- from its own inner intelligence and that is the only possibility of understanding a child you know and it is so clear that the child is continuously learning and there are processes that is happening within the brain that are creating the tools for understanding the world you know awakening of senses uh, you know uh, formation of the cognitive tools all that is happening but our problem is that since this is not tangible we are constantly interfering in that process now if you see how a child is learning to walk see by the time the body stabilizes it's about 3 4 years so it has to go through a process of you know various things like from lying down like this to tilting over to 
crawling to walking on the knees i mean it's all a process that is happening and slowly then the child begins to walk it falls down so you know it's, it's, a, it's a long process of uh, everyday trying you know now precisely that is happening in, in, in within our cognitive process also within our structure within the the, the neural processing also like that so the, and that is the reason why that it is so clear that most people have hated grammar when they were studying you know in in 6th 7th when or 5th 6th grammar was introduced i think that was the most hateful subject and that's precisely the reason because that uh, our cognitive structure is not ready to understand grammar whereas if you look at how we have learned language our mother tongue we have not bothered to study grammar words n- not one word we have asked for meaning but we have understood language so thoroughly well without knowing the structure of it so which means that the learning actually happens by being you know it's it's by being that we understand the world it is not by inquiring and consciously trying to organize and uh, put information as knowledge that we understand the world it's also clear because that that our attempts to teach second language whether it is uh, english or hindi we miserably failed hardly anybody who has learned language a second language in this structure can speak properly because it is reverse the natural process that most people today would remember first they would uh, you know decide what to say in their mother tongue then translate that into english the whole structural there is a difference in that now english can only be spoken by uh, by trying to understand how all languages are learned naturally and now this principle is true for everything else that whatever we are learning there is this uh, 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 physicality that is the basic context the concrete context is what we can learn because the process is that the 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 activities needs to be done experienced and then there is a self organizing ability which organizes information and gives it out you know and i think this uh, uh, you know this thing called insight is probably these kind of things you know that because things just happen knowing just happens because of course there is a groundwork of inquiring of seeing of uh, of engaging with it of experiencing it and without trying to conclude you know so this this structure is very clear if you look at how people learned cooking for example you know the an average indian woman would know at least about 80 90 things you know of various kinds of things uh, to make now none of this is learned in the, in a structured manner organized manner learning has just taken place because she was there in the kitchen things have been happening various things were she was doing cutting vegetables all kinds of things but never in order this ordered knowledge is something that it's like eating digested food that what we are actually doing is we are you know intaking digested information organized digested information that is in help at all because that and not only that we remove experience completely from that realm then we are only making up a story here you know and actually the best example i have is is that most educated indians if you tell them about the you know the traveling from delhi to kanyakumari or from kerala to kashmir you know the image that immediately comes to our head is that either we are going up or coming down that's the image that comes to us now this is just a very clear thing that the, what we are doing is basically constructing things in our mind we are not dealing with reality at all so in order to so this is interesting because uh, once i was telling this to a friend in delhi uh, who who had a bangladeshi maid non literate person and uh, so when when this discussion was happening and she was wondering that how did this fellow come from down niche se kaise bahar aaya ye unka you know so you can see that that how a, a non literate a sense literate person uh has confusion over many terms that we use actually and we take it for granted that this is how it is down niche se aaya you know uh so i think you know it's it's a uh, high time that we 
really look at the prominence we give to language and understand what exactly is its role because if you look at the sense literate and non the literates the text literates it's very clear that the sen for sense literates language is an outcome of experience whereas for a uh, literate their experience is an outcome of their language so it reverses the process we learn everything first and then we you know experience things as per our concepts as per what the mind says that this is how you should experience it that is why most educated when they go to rural tribal areas they only see poverty but that has been drilled into them that we are poor people yeah. so they begin to view only that they completely forget the richness of the cultural strength of this people that they are you know they are living with they 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 are living so uh, uh because i think the modern problem is that we are living in language we are not living in the earth reality in reality you know and and the over importance that is being given to language is a is a real problem about mathematics no no but, uh, see those things are not so so damaging as living in language okay you know uh, because the whole knowledge thing has been a like total confusing thing because what we have done is that promptly we have forgotten everything that we have learned every e with each is class you know you pass 10th and then you forget all that is learned in 10th and uh, then then 11th to 12th then you go in for if you go in for one particular subject all other subjects have been removed and then you uh, unless you get into educational uh, what you call that educational institutions nobody ever remembers what they have you know hardly very few people have that uh, you know thing for remembering those things which also means that this is totally irrelevant that is why we we don't seems to remember things because memory again is very organic it is decided not by the mind but by the body that whatever it is experiencing it is taking in information it is you know it is uh, uh, it is there in our being whereas what education educated memorization does is to slot things in a very tight compartments and almost like a library put those informations inside do you think this politic this is a political weapon ha ah. to conquer people education you see i think uh, you know to my mind we shouldn't see this as a purposely designed activity because the this is part of the whole world how things are happening in the world and we are basically product of our conditions it's not other way around you know if, of course what we do is that we create more and more bad conditions with, because we do not know that the importance of conditions we believe that we are much more uh, in control of life this is a wrong idea we are not in control of life it is the external conditions that forms us and uh, this control mechanism basically has happened again i see this as a crisis in cognition basically because uh, uh, as our cognitive processes are killed we begin to depend on knowledge and that creates a certain kind of dependency and and our spontaneous nature of being in the world is killed and this dependency is is what again leads to power that people who hold the knowledge who are able to tell knowledge they become powerful and they want the receivers nat- naturally become the slaves but this is a peculiar kind of dynamics actually because in one sense they are also holding on to static knowledge even the holders so they happen to be there Th- that's the only difference you know somebody who is giving and somebody who is taking so i think if you look at uh, you know uh, the recent history of the west how uh, uh you know this uh, printing press in germany slowly led to the whole textual the word sp- the spreading of words or or literacy in 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 europe you know and then slowly slowly how it eliminated the hands the activities of the body act- of feminine and of child now of course they are celebrating that as age of reason that's a celebration for them but that is their real tragedy that age of reason 
eliminates the body, the mind, the, the, the separation of the body and mind happens then. And as you can see, this is a gradual process which has began at that time. And it has only, uh, you know, increased it and it is exponentially uh, increased all the problems that was there. And today you see that the whole environmental crisis, the crisis is basically a crisis of being. That our separation from our own integral being and it is basically because of the kind of cognition that happens that how we be in the world is the issue yeah. and and what we are encountering is that through schools we are creating a dependent being yeah. and dependent on text words and concepts rather than being in the world through our senses rooted in our experience you know this is an integral experience of the of the, of the world without separation from the world and and so this is a uh, i would say the crisis in cognition what should we do well of course you know again we are always uh, uh, as there is a interesting term called catch 22 no we are always trapped in the catch catch 22 situation that uh, this to be and not to be that kind of a crisis no that is continuously that is the i think this duality this paradox probably is the crux of life that to be able to exist in both of to be and not to be you know something like that i'm i'm still trying to what i'm trying to say is this that a conscious action would mean that you have always been separated from the earth separated from your beingness so there is a fine combination of being conscious and you know being non-egoistic egoistic and non-egoistic you know there is a fine quality of being together of that you know in another words what i would say is that the knowledge of the nature and the knowledge of our particular being the general and particular knowledge it has to exist coexist and it is happening that is the, the way nature functions that we do have knowledge of nature we have knowledge of our species which is called human beings and we also have knowledge of today here and now as jinan so there is a uh, you know uh, an integration of all this and we exist without even knowing that this is how we exist but what education does is to remove all that of human beings of uh, of all that of the past every knowledge is removed and we are told to exist with this egoistic knowledge and and i think this is the uh, problem also that how do we how like it's like this that when we become aware that we are aware our awareness is lost then how do we become aware you see <laughs> but you can see very clearly that children are existing in that realm so it's i'm not talking about an impossibility that children are existing with total awareness but having lost it how do we go back to that kind of a thing is something that we have to be and i would say that it can only happen from a position of being helpless it, this is a very very clear thing that it cannot happen from our ego of that we know what to do i don't think it can happen from there it can only happen from being in a total realm of helplessness that we give up and probably things can happen but it is important that what needs to be given up that our arrogance our feeling that we can control the world we can solve problems and 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 the mess that we have created this has to be seen this has to be addressed and continuously we need to do something about that at the same time knowing that it is it is not within our hands that that we are total helpless beings you know probably i don't know i am not again making a formula for that but somewhere i feel that it is not reasoning it is not arrogance that can it is not the feeling that we can solve the problems that can because that has has been the experiment happening all over all all the time and it is uh, it has not only thoroughly failed that attitude has completely uh, created more and more problems you know now you say this people talk about sustainability people talk about waste all this kind of terminologies you know 
Now, it's so interesting that when you go into rural tribal people, in the non-literate communities, there is no word called waste. So there, there is no category called waste and useful things, you know. Everything exists. So in nature, because there is no such terminology called waste. So in fact, the natural people, the people who, who use senses, who are who belong to this world, also uses the terminologies of the nature. Of they understand they, they are nothing but the processes that are happening in nature. So they do not have a word called waste. So it's interesting that that everything gets used. Something or the other happens. You know, a plastic thing will be used for something else. You know, every time you will, when you go to a village, you will find that interesting use of things. You know, most uh, creative way of using things without being aware of it. They are not being creative. That's the, their nature to do things. You know, now and then you see what happens in a rural tribal, in a, in an urban context. That just by keeping my waste paper basket, we are teaching our children to waste. You see. Words are not required. So, as I was telling you, it is the condition that create knowledge. Our beingness is dictated by the condition. The fact that there is a waste paper basket, the fact that that uh, today there are no things that are breakable in the in a normal household. Children don't have don't play with anything that breaks. So, when do children learn to take care? You know. So, because all this basically cannot be taught through moral stories. This is an absurd idea. Moral stories can change the change children. Because all these are realms of physicality. Care has to be experienced by the body and mind understands it. Yeah. No? It takes care of, it, it takes a sharp knife and it begins to cut something. Care naturally comes in. You see? So it is in the realm of physicality that all values are learned. Values are not intellectual ideas that you, know, you can learn by reading a book. You know? Yeah, from person also. Uh, no, it can't be re read or it can't be understood from reading and it can't be understood from somebody telling you stories. It has to be experienced physically. Everything else. I mean, and I would say that value is the most important aspect of our existence. It's not knowledge. That what we learn from school, what we become after we go through school is the value system that, that we take in, you know. That we learn to cheat, we learn to compete. We learn to copy. This is all what we become, finally. You know? Or we learn to memorize. We learn to be arrogant because we have some silly marks. So I think... Uh, so this value is what finally gets formed. And value is the centrality of our life. What we are, that is the value. Not what we know. That is secondary, actually. You know? Even with what we know, we function from what we are. So the, 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 the crux, the crucial aspect is what we are. Uh, so I think the whole thing needs to be re-looked at and uh, it cannot start from the mind. Once the mind stops functioning, then body will begin to function. You know, senses will begin to be awakened. It's like this, that when you, you see these old houses, unused houses, slowly nature begins to work there, you know. Even big, huge trees begin to grow from there. So you need to leave things alone and let things happen. And in that happening, nature will begin to reawaken. The nature within us will begin to, you know, function. It's not the ego that can, you know, basically the issue is that, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Korea.